Hello and welcome to the Pork and Knuckle Show, where we take a bite out of the movies. Literally. And today, we're gonna sink our teeth into one of the biggest and longest film franchises of all time. Francis Ford Coppola's masterpiece that is The Godfather. Yes, up until 1 and 2. 3 was not a masterpiece. No, it 3 was, was a masterpiece atrocity. of crap. It was complete nonsense. Like, yes. Why did they do it? But, yeah, yeah. So, we're ready to Let's start it. with the start. <laughs> Let, let's think, start with the yeah. start. Number one. Okay, the first scene is the most famous scene probably, I think, ever in cinema. Yes. Cinematic. Hollywood, Bollywood, Lollywood, whatever history. <laughs> it, it, that, it's just cool. It, yeah. When I was actually playing the Godfather game on PlayStation 2, I remember. Yes, that was, that, that was a nice game. game. It was a nice, nice game. game. And that scene came on, I was just like, cool. So I decided I didn't do it. Because I didn't have a tux back then, but I wish I did. I would have played the game wearing a tux. <laughs> you gotta that, give respect that to would the game. Have some style. Yeah, yeah, definitely because it was a great game. The movie was superb. The first movie had the classic scenes, had the brilliant lines, the three characters, four characters that we loved. Sonny, Sonny was superb. Michael, yeah. Don, of course. I just love Clemenza. I don't know why, but Peter Clemenza, I absolutely love him. I think he is so I just good. love him for his name. I think he yeah, has Clemenza, the best... what a great name. What a brilliant, what a brilliant name. name. So, but, but do you know the thing about this opening shot mm. of the first movie? It was actually achieved with a computer-controlled zoom lens that was actually used only the second time in all of Hollywood. The first um, usage being in 1972 in Silent Running. Oh, interesting. No. Yes, it is. But uh, do you also know that um, um, the Paramount executive bought the rights to Mario Puzo's The Godfather before the book was even finished? At the time, oh, the wow. rights were bought by Paramount. It was only a 20-page outline. And what I find the most fascinating is, for one thing, the word mafia is never said no, in the first That's movie. It. It's only mentioned a couple of times in the sequels, which has actually a reason because the actual real-life mafia threatened the production and the so-called Italian-American Civil Rights League started a campaign to stop the film from actually being made and they met the producer of the film and made an, um, an agreement that the words mafia and uh, Cosa Nostra may not be used in the film and the producer Albert Ruddy even gave the real-life mobsters the permission to view the unfinished work print of the film cool. to give permission to the release. That's that's cool. Which cool. which is even um, at one point the the car of some guy in the production was followed by the actual mafia, and then the next day they found the car with shot out. Uh, windows and a note that basically said shut down production now which is something where you think oh my god that happened in the 70s that will never happen again today um, you remember the the story about the the TV show Narcos that was filmed yes. where the real-life location oh. scout of um, the series was found murdered really while obviously treading uh, on territory yeah, yeah. that he was not supposed to tread. But then that's interesting because you know, the first Godfather's classic. Actually, I like the second Godfather better than the first yes, one. Yes, me too. Even though the baptism scene is epic, the irony in all of that is, is superb. Second one, because the first one was so good, to make the second one equally even better just to just the expectant expect expectancy that was yeah. created was superb. The third one completely was a disgrace. They should never have made it. I mean, it's not the Godfather way to be flashy. It's about being subtle. It's about staying within the family. Well, classic line, never let anyone outside the family know what you're thinking. But Godfather 3, he's, like, he's got a political agenda. The guy, what is he trying to be, a president? I, I don't know. He's like, why is he in the Vatican? Don the, Vito would not be doing any of this. Only You'll question, get people to do this for him. The only question I ask myself while watching The Godfather 3 is why is this thing so boring? And it's so long. Why is it so long? It is so... Actually, it's Francis Ford Coppola had the, 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 um, the regulation <coughs> by Paramount that the third one may not be longer than 2 hours and 20 minutes, but it was 
a drag. It was a and drag. The only thing, uh, but we would need to go back to the second one actually, is um, that the Vatican Bank was um, formerly the owner of Paramount Pictures. Oh, really? Yes. And then, uh, of course, <laughs> they know. refused entry to the film crew, so they couldn't even shoot in the real in the Vatican. Vatican. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what I hate about The Godfather 3 so much is these discussions between Al Pacino oh and these uh, Vatican guys Peepers is and, like, so long. Cardinals and, and it's like, what you, who cares? And then you I have... just want mafia and killing and like, Sonny being shot at a petrol station or whatever. Yeah, and then you have the scene at the opera. I don't like I don't, the opera. that's like... I can't watch the opera. And the opera they use... would not do, go to a place like this. He would be in his villa in Sicily, where he was, where he had a heart attack, and just chilling out. And that's what the style of Godfather is, to be subtle, not to be flashy. Yeah. High jackets, expensive suits. I don't know well, if there was a money bag, and probably used a money. The Rolexes, I don't know, just, just didn't, it wasn't right. The thing is, the opera right. that they show in the third movie is called the Cavalleria Rusticana, which yeah. is a very short, I think only one hour opera, so I think we must have seen two thirds of the entire goddamn thing <laughs> the in The Godfather 3, because that scene was so long. Oh and my god, it's the, never ending. The saddest thing about, um, I mean, we said Robert De Niro, I think, is what made the second movie yeah, yeah. this great. Well, but his role of Don Vito was, and yeah, well, was epic. Robert De Niro, by the way, um, despite his name, doesn't actually speak Italian. He lived in um, Italy for, I think, three months uh, before production began um, to acquaint himself especially of the Sicilian accent that oh, he's okay. using in the film. But still, I think, personally, the best actor that is in the entire um, Peter Clemenza. Um, Tom, Tom trilogy. Good as well. No, he's actually not in the trilogy because he died before uh, the third movie was made. It's called Joe Spinell, and he okay. played uh, Willy Chichi. And um, Joe Spinell is a phenomenal actor. You have to watch a movie that he was in. It's called Maniac. Okay. Um, it's a psychological thriller where he skins and, and basically scalps women to put the scalps on his um, puppets. And this is a masterpiece. Joe Spinell is the type of actor that could have had a great career if he didn't die that early, sadly. Well, I think, I think we can safely say and try and wrap it up that Godfather 1 is classic, 2 is better than 1. Three is not a movie. Three is it's not a movie. Garbage. It complete. It's a disgrace. That's um, let's and know. Even, let's know. And even let let if you like the third let's one. Let's just let's just put one thing as the final statement of this video because the third one was actually recently re-edited by Francis Ford Coppola, which made it the third edit of the movie. There was the theatrical version, then there was an even longer no, um, director's definitive cut, and then came the uh, coda version that actually trimmed the movie back down to close to its original theatrical runtime, but leaving in many of the scenes that were added for the director's cut in the first place, but adding out... Um, editing out other things, and even though the movies sometimes differ in between 20 to 30 minutes up of, uh, of material, none of these versions are good. Well, that's and the end of that? I that's watched it. all that's three it. cuts the verdict of the is film. Out. The verdict all is out. three are the boring. The verdict is out. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. You've lasted this long. Congratulations. <laughs> it's not as long as The Godfather, so well, well done. We could make well this done. video last like 160 minutes. Right. We can have an opera in the background and just sit there and talk to... Yeah. Or we could do the logical the thing pop. and not the, That's this. it. Let's end it. Let's, Let's end, end it. it. Let's we'll end see it. you guys right. again on the next Pork and Knuckle Show. If you like this video for whatever reason, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell to make sure you're notified whenever we put up another video just like this. And hopefully we'll see you guys again next week, same time, same station, for the next episode. Take care. Take care.